And you see they are not as long because... Oh, okay. Perfect. Hello, Martin here again. This uh, video, in this video I will show you how to use these uh, dip pens and this splatter effect. Uh, one more. Some of you asked me, mailed me and commented uh, that I should show how to do uh, this nice and dynamic effect. So in this video we will test a bunch of different uh, nips. So from medium soft to highly elastic and see how this <coughs> effect these splatters, how, the, how, how you can do that um, and uh, how to use it in a drawing, so such for trees or a part of architecture. And the great thing about this is uh, when you make made a mistake, you can use this splatter effect to, to make the mistake unseen. So, we start. With the first one, these are all from the company Browser. That's why, because I found them in my art uh, supply store as well as you can uh, buy them on Amazon. There are many other uh, uh, companies with uh, as well very nice and good nibs. And we will look at this uh, medium soft different type of uh, steel pens to really highly elastic highly elastic uh, nips steel nips these numbers here are only the number of how much are in the package so so you can buy a package with three of them 15 or 30 and the more you take the cheaper they get okay we'll start with the first one I never used them before, so I'm very excited how it will turn out. The only problem is they're really good backed and closed. Okay, here we have this missing or gold colored nibs. They are medium, they are medium soft called Cito Fine. So I use the very different styles of lip holder. So it's only, it's up to you uh, if you want uh, thicker, broader ones or these more smaller ones. There are also lip holders with two possibilities to put in the nips. And of course we are doing a drawing. Maybe of a wine yard or trees or something like this. So now you can clean this nib because they're a little bit protected with oil. Uh, pe some people, some colleagues are doing this with a lighter, but to be honest, I don't care. I can put it in the water a little bit, but I just, I just use them straight off, out of the package. In this part we use a soluble ink, like in the past two videos here on YouTube. Yeah. This is from, before you ask, this is from Artway, traditional China's Sumi ink. Important, not waterproof, it's water soluble. Okay, then here we do our drawing with all these different, five different nibs. We start with the Cito Fine from browser. Yeah, that works fine. So a normal straight line. And then let's try our first our first splash after we have done here this this trunk from the tree. And let's say we have here the the crown of this this tree. Very easy to to draw something like this. And now take fresh ink. And in this case, we don't go from from left to right. 
we go in the opposite direction and put the the tip of the nib the tip of the nib uh, into the paper and and pull it you see so this is a medium soft but wonderful great splatter in one in one direction it's really i think why I didn't use it so long time? Okay, fine. <clears throat> and then we do here some shadows as well as here. Uh, by the way, this paper, 100%, it's a 100% cotton, cold pressed, so a more rougher one and 300 gram. So it's not necessary that you use always this Bristol, this very smooth paper, you also can draw with very good um, results on this uh, watercolor paper. And what I like at this splattern, they are not even, because you all know when, when we do this, these points, these, these drops, they are all mostly the same, a little bit larger or or more tiny and here we have these straight splashes and these smaller dots and very small dots so but now the art the idea is to use it wisely because too much is too much too less is okay of course and here we have so the first result, here comes the light, and here's my direction, so the, the shadows are here. And I would like to mix this with waterproof ink with a brush pen. Let's see, like this one, or my other one, just a second. Always use these brush pens for the larger dark areas you see here this i think very important to have the contrasts that all keeps deserve and and with a huge variety of of strokes points broader one finer one and so on so okay once again this was the first test with this browser citofine our first plant here. Okay, I put it in into water and clean it. Very important is that you clean it because when the the ink when the ink is drying here between the nib and the holder, then it's no this one I, I cleaned obviously. When you don't do this, you can't pull it off it's even with some tools you will break it so always um, a little uh, bit of water and, uh, and clean it after using it okay this was number one so easy to use like you see you have seen and another one so another medium soft one the number 511 and we start again to try to open it. So this is a very small, a very fine one. I think it should work as well. It seems a little bit softer than the previous one. Put it here in. And let's do another blend here. Ah, oh, that's a very fine. Uh, maybe I clean it a little bit. And let's do a larger one. Uh, the, the line himself, the line itself is very, very fine. So it's a good choice for architecture or for plants with uh, a lot of details and then let's do one more put it into the 
I take fresh ink, fresh and ink and much ink, and then put it into the paper and then bend it and lift it up and then and you see they are not as long because oh okay perfect very nice so here we get it in both directions and of course some of you may think now that's only a, a, a cheap effect or a little bit childish but of course yeah maybe you're right but if, I like it, I enjoy it, and when you use it the right way, it's absolutely okay for your drawing. After testing uh, the different tips, we will as well color this uh, drawing. So in the end, we have a, a small little sketch. Okay, so here. And here we take our shadow parts. Uh, here more black because this is a tree behind. Okay, we used this one. And now number our number three elastic so we got medium soft this two nips now we got an elastic one so this is the browser x3 elastic not highly elastic not medium soft just elastic okay and therefore we do this higher tree or plant or what it is and those and now we don't draw the outline of these um, leaves. We just do it, put the, the, the nib into the paper and push it. And we do this. And then we use the border, the, the shape, we already have here from these drops and this is our plantlets this is a i would say the first two of the nips i like a little bit more this is very a good one for lines so maybe it's a little bit dirty as well because it's it's highly used, often used one. Next one, the highly elastic nips, rose nips, Rosenfedern in Deutsch, in German. Number 76, number 76. <coughs> and always beware of uh, touching these uh, parts, even when they are wet and there is much ink on, on one place. So, because if you smear it, that doesn't look good, believe me. So, avoid that you touch uh, these um, wet parts with your hands. Okay, let's do... Uh -huh, this, is a, this is much more elastic. You can hear it. It, it sounds... It's another, it's another sound than the ink before. Very... Whoops. You see? And of course, I do hear more of these splashes and of, of these drops, like I usually would do it, but I want to show you how this... And as well here, first the drops, the splatters, and then we do a little bit of leaves, and then upside down, I can, yeah, then it's a little bit more thinner lines. Now when you use it not that way, use it this way. Maybe one more. Chuck. Now we are going in an abstract way. Okay. I think I've destroyed it, so I have to push it back. And this is why you should, even in the beginning, you should order 
more than three of these nips so that you can learn and then it's not that hard when you destroy the first one or two nips. When you don't uh, like this, this effect, when you just draw <coughs> it without this, it turns out like this a little bit. This is with an, it's not with a, a tip pen, it's just with an, uh, so it's these fine liners, yeah, these markers, fine markers. And these are the nibs I use the most. So, where is it? This is here, and I like this normal uh, straight shape of the nip holder. This is my favorite nip holder. Oh, check. Okay, you see, <laughs> I didn't clean it, so the the I say I think the 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 ink was drying, and now I pressed it a little bit too hard, and then that ah, and you see, yeah, I didn't clean it. I can't. Ah, yeah, okay, I could put it out so we take a fresh one highly elastic the highly elastic number 66 this video by the way is not sponsored i just uh, bought and paid these for myself maybe this i like this uh nip but it is very I think very hard for beginners because it's really elastic so to control the the fine lines with uh, and to get this thicker broader lines that's not the easiest uh, nip to do this and it's enough when you while drawing go in the wrong from right to left, so in this direction, then you also get these drops. Very easy to don't press the nip, just let it float. And like I said, when you when you're doing a mistake, let's say this one, or this one I don't. Okay, <laughs> then just do this, and it looks good. Okay, so I hope I you know what I mean. And there is a wrong uh, when you don't like this uh, line, then just do something like this. And of course, in, in this uh, example, in this uh, drawing, it's uh, a little bit too much, but we'll see. When we use then uh, water and watercolor, how it turns out. These have been our five tested nips. So it's up to you. Just test it, really test it as much as you can, as well as for other, from other brands. And then after years, you will know what's the nip for you. I will now speed the video up and finish this uh, drawing. And then I'm back to you. In this part where I was so concentrated on these different nips, there are no gaps, no white uh, parts like here, so this would be quite okay. Here it's for me not the best result, it's a bad result. But I of course want to share this with you because this happens. And maybe there are people who like it, I don't like it, maybe, but I think it's it's all over now. It's all over now, baby blue. Um, it's all over, but we can try to do some blue and something interesting here. Uh, okay, that's okay. But it is what it, it is. What it is. It's a a test with found with uh, steel nibs. 
and and uh, soluble ink okay this for today hope to see you again next video and have a nice day bye hmm. ah well maybe